Have you got any idea what it's going to be? I'll give you a clue. This will not do. It's got a bit of a nub underneath, so it's not going to sit straight. This is a good excuse to use the brand new Grandfather's Brooks hunting axe. Right, if you've not already guessed, it's going to be a log stove or rocket stove. So I'm going to use this large auger bit and it's going to go right at the top. I've turned the drill down to the low ratio setting, so hopefully it should ha have enough power to get through. So I'm just going to dr drill it down to about the length of the drill bit and then I'm going to go into the side. Oh! <laughs> It's definitely got the power. Whoa. This is a very well seasoned <laughs> piece of log. We'll get there eventually. I'll be back in a minute. I think the drill might be a little bit too powerful. So we're gonna try the old fashioned way using a brace and the bit. So hopefully this is fit. I've never tried this in before. So hopefully it should fit in there. Get it nice and tight. Let's try this now. Not doing much. Maybe it needs to be sharpened. No. Nope. <laughs> Back to plan A. So, plan A. Tighten my grip around here. <laughs> nope, still not working. Let's try plan C. <clears throat> Although I don't think it's not going to fit in there, is it? No, plan C is not going to work. So we're just going to have to try plan A again. Plan A. Plan A with perseverance, determination, dedication, and we'll get there eventually. I think we're just about there now. But that wasn't easy. The drill is a little bit hot now, so we're going to give it a break. Right, so the drill's cooled down a little bit now, still quite warm, but I've managed to go all the way deep down in there. So I need to now do another hole in the side of here to join up with this one. So I measure, measure where it goes. So I'm about that deep there. So I can go to the edge of here, about there. So I need to be about into there now. So I can start a new hole about there, I think. Maybe bring it up slightly. So I'll just put that in a better position there now. And hopefully it's going to be easier going into the side because it's in the, across the grain as opposed to with it. Let's try it. That feels a lot easier. We're nearly there. Surely I should be there now. Not yet, not yet. Don't tell me I've missed. 
Have I missed? This is going to break my wrist in a minute. I make it look really easy. So when you do it, <laughs> we'll have a go. You'll probably <laughs> make it a little... <laughs> it might be a lot harder than this when you try it. So, you know, I'm just, just warning you. <laughs> ah. I told you, I, I make this look easy. <laughs> I've got to be through now, surely. Let's try again. Let's keep it going, keep it going. Have we got any battery left even? Let's have a look. Yeah, still got battery left. Right. This time, this time. Be there you know I don't think I'm quite touching but it's close enough ah we're through Let's have a look ha -ha. Brilliant. Come and have a look at this. Have a look down the hole, just to prove that I'm through. I'm going to shine a torch through the side. Can you see down the hole there? Brilliant. Whatever you do, don't tell Nan. It would kill me if she knew I was making a mess. Right, now some time has elapsed since the last part of the video. Um, it's quite dark now, as you can see, very dark. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is try and light it. So we've got the hole there, the hole on the side. So the idea is we light a fire in here and then it comes out the top there. And, and what I'm gonna do is put one, two, three screws in the top to uh, hold a pan or a pot or something to boil some water. It's really cold and really windy tonight, so I don't know how that's gonna work, so, but we'll give it a go. Have to persevere with this one. Right, so I've turned it round a little bit because it keeps on going out. I think it, because it's so windy tonight, it's just not doing it. So you can light it and it stays lit for a few seconds and it keeps on going out. It's super hot in there. Just not staying alight. I'll keep trying. Okay, so even, uh, even though it's lit now, I'm still gonna call this a bit of a failure because of the wind. If you were going to wanting to use this as a campfire, I wouldn't bother. To be perfectly honest, it is a bit of a damp squib. I'm going to give this a few minutes and it's probably going to go out. So, never mind. Failure! Onwards and upwards. Okay, so it's staying lit now for a little while. So, I thought it was a complete failure, but it stayed lit for about 10 minutes now. So, I'm going to try and put a pot on it and see if I can get it to boil. <coughs> See if we can get that to go. It 
So finally, we've got it going. Look at that in there. It's been going for about 15, 20 minutes now. I put the pot on about 10 minutes ago. Um, it is absolutely steaming hot. Wow. Hot enough to cook anything. I was a little bit dubious for a while whether this would actually light. But once lit, it's actually going really well. So I'll let it go for a while and see how it gets on. So I'm just going to take the pot off and have a look to see what the flame is like without the pot on. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But I think we'll call it there. Um, Maybe a success, I don't know yet. Very, very smoky. Um, not easy to light whatsoever, I had to use a blowtorch. Maybe if the wind wasn't so rough, it would have lit easier. Um, but yes, yeah, smoky, smoky, smoky. I'm gonna stink now. Well, I'll see you later. If you like these stupid videos that I keep making, please subscribe and I will make more. Thank you.